It's the hardest way to play. No one watching your back and with the entire world against you, driving its heel into your neck. It's an exercise in patience, tenacity, and understanding that loss is almost a guarantee. But not always. And sometimes you can even find redemption in the least likely of places. But we'll get to that. See, I was brand new on the server, solo, with no loot and no blueprints. And just after spawning, I saw an airdrop in the distance. Uh, airdrop. 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 Drop, drop, drop. Let's go to the drop. Hey, what's up, bro? How's it going, bro? Uh-oh. Oh, Oh, yeah, I'm dead. What if I live and get all the yoinks? The airdrop was falling right beside a clan base with an active shootout occurring underneath. Oh my god, look how many dead people are. Actually, Yo, when he said duty booty, I felt that. Uh oh. No! I died, but I was solo with nothing. It was to be expected. He said duty booty. But it did give me purpose. I wanted to win a fight like this, solo, against a clan. And with that, I had my first objective. But I would need many things if I was to see any success in this goal. So I respawned and began exploring the map to gather resources. Duty booty! <laughs> he was a legend. This is a lot of mushrooms. I wound my way to the southern edge of the bandit camp. It was central to the map and there were a lot of small, non-threatening looking bases around there. I feel old. No, I, I don't feel old. Oh, yoinks! I found a wooden shack that appeared to have been raided or abandoned. With a few improvements, I could make this ramshackle hovel my own. I don't know, I kind of feel like playing solo today. Oh, well done. No, bro, please, you have a duty booty. Duty booty. Duty booty. Okay. <laughs> my god, that's a scary sign. After farming a bit of wood, I returned to secure the cabin I'd found for myself. It's snug, but it works. Welcome. All right. Stone, please. With my little home secure, I crafted a bow, then headed out to gather some components along the road. Oh, we're game. Oh, I got a paddle. This is so big. Bong. Yeah. Your friends. Oh, that. Okay. That's a yoka. Bong. Are you winning, son? Now at the harbor, I recycled some of what I'd found. Get paddled. <laughs> that was rude, but also pretty fun. Why did I do that? That was a bit bully. Do not bully people. Let's leave. Yet another player was approaching, so I beat a hasty retreat, not wanting karma to come find me after my cheeky actions. Should we have eyes on the perp in hot pursuit? Roger, over. Bonk. Why is that the best bong? Where's my bloody base? I returned home and I began upgrading. Today is my 11th-first birthday! Is this full stone? Yes. Hopping right back out, I immediately found a scuffle. Son of a gun. Hitting this idiot in the toe, man. Fire! Stand and fight, coward! Oh, you're dead. I'm so oh, okay. Sorry. I need him home! Gaining a bit more loot and gear was helpful. My space in this world was starting to come together. Now, speaking of space, I wanted to take a moment to thank EVE Online for sponsoring this video. EVE Online is a space-based, persistent world, massively multiplayer online role-playing game. The game is renowned for its enormous scale and great complexity when it comes to player interactions. In its single shared game world, players engage in economic competition, warfare, and political schemes that push the boundaries of emergent gaming. Now, since 2020, EVE Online has released four quadrants every year. These provide all sorts of updates and new content to the game. The current quadrant, called Gateway, is opening the door to the EVE universe for many new players. It provides unique 
unique pathways for them to connect with their own aspirations in-game. It also features an improved new player experience and story-driven training, so coming back to EVE Online or starting for the first time is far more simple than it used to be. And the game recently launched on the Epic Games Store on September 23rd, and EVE is also now natively available on Mac with full M1 support. So go register through the link below and save almost three weeks of training time by getting a million skill points and jumping straight into the action. Thanks again to EVE Online for sponsoring the video, now let's get back to our story. With my base fortified, I headed back out and went to the water treatment plant nearby to go scavenge for loot. Oh no, bad doggy. Welcome. Bad doggy. That was kind of cool how that happened. Oh no, this is a guy. Alright, I gotta kill this guy or else I'll... <laughs> it didn't even work. Hit! Calculating? Oh! Calculate! Oh, it hit again! Oh, he's gonna hold the corner, but but I'm I'm already too far ahead. I knew it! But, okay, sorry. Jesus Christ! All good? Oh my god. Are you good? I know I'm chumba. I gave you a yoga. Now you have the power. Oh to shit! You stood oh, up. Oh, All right, good luck, boss. I don't think I've ever heard a noise like that. And then he just rolled with it. He's cool as a cucumber after that yell. Always a good time. The tuna can lamb. Yeah, I'll have to figure out how this is gonna become a tuna. Oh. Welcome. Okay, do it, to him. Bad doggy. Oh, he was mad. Fortnite! Gallivanting around and playing a bit of trumpet, I was progressing slowly up the food chain. Watch this, I'm a pop headshot. S sit down, buddy. It was just a prank. A silencer. With more components, I headed to a mining outpost to recycle. That's massive. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Ooh! It was a no scope. I'll pick you up. Oh. oh, I was gonna. Oh, God, you're so good. Now, with quite a generous sum of scrap, I made my way to the bandit camp. Hollow DB. It actually looks really funny on the DB. Aww. Little baby fella just chilling right in the middle. <laughs> I was gonna purchase an M92 pistol. With a versatile gun like this, I could make my goal of winning a fight versus a clan a reality. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Bang, bang. And with that, we have a tactical doinker. With the attachments I found, I made my M92 a formidable weapon. My base is right here. All right, heck it. Heck it, man. I remember flares in DayZ, though. Everyone would come running to Cherno in the middle of the night. Look at me, I got the blicky. Man does solo clan raid. You won't believe what happens next. When morning came, I set out to see if I could turn what I had into much more. Bro, don't do it. Gotcha, bitch! Pulled the doinker on the oinker. Target neutralized. Damn, this is a satisfying gun to shoot. Oh, did I get him? Little weapon I have here. Oh my goodness gracious! Level 800 stone miner. My new gun was proving quite useful. Metal ore in the furnace. Welcome. Now with a furnace and a fully stoned base, I decided to go out for a large loot expedition. I grabbed 200 scrap to buy a submarine so that I could travel to the underwater labs. There would be a lot of good loot down there, and I still needed everything I could get my hands on. Give me all your loot, buddy! Hey man. How's it going, man? There's hey. a boar after me, help me please. Oh help no! Me, please. Kill it, please. <laughs> you are <a> <laughs> He was an unhappy camper. I purchased the submarine and began my intrepid underwater journey. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Deeper. Ah, yes. The labs. Oh. 
Actually, that was sort of perfect. Um. Already re reloaded. Now in the labs, I needed to tread carefully. There would be many murderous dwellers down here. push you like this. This is scary. I was doing well, clearing the labs of dwellers and finding many components as well as scrap. Oh my god, it's dark and spooky. Twenty-four! Not great, not terrible. Joy. I'm into the mainframe. No. Multiple dwellers were converging on me here. This was bad. Time to make like a tree and get out of here. Hello there. Yeah, they just kept coming, man. Almost out of cloth. Let's go. With my meds and ammo depleted, it was time to take all I had already collected and head out from here. Long. You ever get raided badly? If yes, did it make you all sad? Yes. I got raided and I sent messages to all my Rust friends like, hey guys. I'm going to be doing more IRL stuff. It's been really fun, but I need to reevaluate my priorities. I basically quit for like a week. One week later. Because I was really upset because my base was sick. It was called the library. You know those old school libraries where you have a ladder up? I had uh, doors on loot rooms that you had tend to climb ladders up. I landed off the coast near the bandit camp, so I ran in there to its relative safety and recycled what I had gathered. Hey, take it easy. I then beelined straight home, placed a tier one workbench, and learned much of the tech tree. A metal door. Perhaps it is time to put this tactical doinker to use. Mm, I don't really like. Oh. He's... Oh. Gamer yell removed. After a short fight and a brief moment of loot glory, I died. So I respawned and ran back to the area to see if I could scavenge anything left behind. That pig is, I don't even know what that pig's what doing. What the dog doing? We lost the doinker, but I'm gonna go get it back. And I still, I got a ton of wood. Uh oh. oh. He's got a hand. Stop it, bro! Uh -oh. Bring it out! <laughs> oh my, oh, they were gonna yoke a raid. Bad doggy. You honestly suck at the game, bro. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, you almost just died of two nakeds. Are you a little bit angry, bro? We got a bunch of metal and a bunch of wood, so that's nice. This son of a gun, he came back. I'm gonna die. Do I get inside here that now? <laughs> After fighting my way home and throwing myself inside, I was safe. But I'd lost my precious pistol. So now I had another objective. I wanted it back. There would, this would never work. It's not ideal, whatever. 
After some home upgrades, I heard a plane passing overhead with an airdrop, so I headed out to go hunt for it. Airdrop. Weeby gamer in the corner. Where drop? It was this direction, right? Oh, it's over there. I'm about to get murdered. I can just feel it. Hey, bro, you call the airdrop? Come on, man. Hi there. No, please, bro. I'm friendly, bro. Please, let me go. It was inside this compound. I wasn't getting it, but now I needed to get away from this base. Okay, that's it, bro. You stupid bitch. I kill you now. Oh, I'm going to beat you, bro. You're not as good as me. I'm better at this game than you, bro. You're slow. I already know I'm better, bro. I'm faster than you. I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. My my girl more good looking than you. My hairline better than you. My shoes are better. My fashion is better. My clothes are better. My mama is nicer. My grandma's cookies taste better. Everything I do my better. Mic is better. How dare I hit you again, you are noob. Oh, I'm gonna do it again, bro. Oh, bro! I killed him. <laughs> I punished that man. After some rather cheeky moves and taunts, I was in the clear once more. I farmed some sulfur nodes I passed and looted up some boxes at the water treatment plant. Hey, what are you doing sneaking around here like that? I, I'm a rock, man. I'm a rock. Pick me up, man. Take it easy. I'll pick you up. Why is this character... <laughs> Dude, what is it? What is wrong? What's wrong with this? I banked what I'd farmed at home, then went to explore in the area where I'd lost my pistol earlier. How come whenever I come on, a bunch of idiots show up outside me? <laughs> Money. Oh, I'm nasty. Money. Damn, son. Money. Money. Bruh, chill. How is he not dead, bro? Oh, he died to outpost. Oh, I know it. Goods and resources. I hit him in the the undertow, the bottom section of the toe. My crossbow shots were dialed in right now. I took the loot from the dead player, recycled it outpost, and then headed home. Oh, come on, man. That's like right at my base, man. Come on. Sorry, bro. Nice. Go ahead and slide on home. You goddamn stupid bear face. That guy was born to exist in that spot in time. After claiming an easy MP5, I depoted it home and then found some trouble outside. All right. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Bro, how is it? Pincered in the middle of an engagement, I'd been killed, but it was just outside. I have to send this. Oh, he's such a rat. What an idiot. There were many people here lurking in the shadows. Two, two dead. This was a big fight. If I could come out on top, I'd be walking away with a lot of loot. Now we blend into the darkness and hope for the best. Knowing when to take my winnings and leave was crucial here, so I banked what I'd gotten, then headed out into the darkness once again with a double barrel. Explain to me how you can see me. Torch, dumbass. No, I said I had a torch up there. Oh, shit. Right, right. I'm torching. There were many dead bodies here. I frantically hunted for any guns left on the ground. I want to make sure that nobody else died up here, because I think someone else
Got yes, that's what we're looking for. Bad doggy. Okay. I depoted another load of loot. This fight was proving to be a great boon for my coffers. I'll try to clean this up real quick. I might die though. Do you think? Oh yeah. Okay. I want to know what happened to the M9. I might bank this little chunk that I got and come back again. Yeah. I am the cleanup crew on this one. Just, I knew it! An M92. It didn't have any attachments, but it was the stock version of my affectionately named Doinker. I wonder if this is the same one. Now that fight was over, but I'd achieved one of my admittedly less ambitious goals. So I next took the M92 back out to hunt for more gear. That's a pretty nice amount of ammo, if you ask me. Don't do that. Ooh, it's from that way. Get his ass, bro. I should. Oh my god, there's so many people here. The fighting here was desperate and I didn't want to get caught in the middle, so I got out of there. I got the blicky, my guy, don't try it. Oh, just peeled on over and died. I always thought banal was pronounced banal for a while. Hey, take it easy, big bonker. Ah. Now that's what we're looking for. Patience, laddie, wait for a clear shot. Is this the Python guy? I am El Raton! You scurry in, you scurry out, folks. Classic solo gamer move. Another success. I next spent quite some time in base hanging out, upgrading, and talking with my stream chat. I swapped my M92 for a python so that I could fight at range, and I headed back out once more to look for loot. Greetings. Whoa! Oh, man! I want to play a game. A momentary terrifying illumination, and then death seconds later. But I had a bag nearby where this had been, so I respawned there. Wait, there's another guy! Please. Welcome. Oh! Talking shit a little bit early there, buddy, huh? <laughs> I turned a blicky into more blickies. I did die, but it sort of ended Welcome. up working out. One med away. Organization never before seen. As day came, I set out to roam with my newly found AK, feeling confident. Oh, he's dead. Did he live? Long. A long boy. Welcome. Ooh. This was the same guy whose AK I'd taken. Clearly a well-armed fellow solo player. I win this, I get this angle. Love it. He's not dead. Oh, he's not a... It was the same guy once again. Spawning in a bag very close by, I then saw him run back to his home. No way. He lives in there? No way. <laughs> Alright. Now this player had a lot of gear and was fairly skilled. I needed to evict him and remove this neighboring threat. I had another new objective. I grabbed a python from home and then started scoping his base out. What the hell? Oh, he's gonna go farm. I 
I did some scavenging nearby as I considered my options. Now his base wasn't all that big. If I farmed up some sulfur and made a few satchels, I could crack it wide open. Don't do it, buddy! Do it again. I think I got him there. Let's try that. Got his ass. I returned home after killing him and another low-geared player. I next got to sulfur farming, placed a tier 2 workbench, and some more furnaces. Then I equipped the saw I'd found earlier. I could make rifle ammo now. I mean, hot Welcome. dog water is technically a tea if you think about it. After killing a player who'd claimed an airdrop, I had my first couple satchels. That should be the boom box. I spent the next while farming, smelting, and gathering components. I was starting to have a solid stockpile of gunpowder, so I went to go check on his base once again. Ah, uh, he upgraded it. Oh? Oh no, it wraps crazy now. He'd been working diligently at expanding. This was now quite an expensive raid, and one that would be better with rockets. Satchels wouldn't quite cut it now. Oof. Well, unraidable with what I have. At this point, it might start looking like rockets. Honestly, what's probably gonna happen is big boys are gonna raid that. Now, since satchel charges were the only raiding blueprint I had, evicting my enemy from his newly minted fortress was just not feasible. So I decided I was gonna look for a different base nearby, where I could potentially find explosives, gear, or lots of scrap for blueprints. Then, using what I got from that, I could make a push towards raiding him. That looks weird and... Oh, there's a guy. While wandering near my home, I saw a base that looked like it had been designed to look raided, potentially in the aim of safely storing loot by staying under the radar. I'm a little curious, I'm cracking it open. Boom or bust, I was gonna raid it. I crafted my gunpowder and a satchel. I had enough for two metal doors and then a couple left over. This could have been a wooden. See, there's no reason for that door to be gone and for that to be gone. Another one. Take this base. 400 scrap? All right. It hadn't been terrible, but it also hadn't held the potential hidden riches I'd hoped for. Gotta go fast. Hey, 400 scrap. I'll take it. I banked the raid loot and then returned to see a couple nakeds poking and prodding around the raid. Hey, bro. Go ahead, bro. What's up, bro? Hey, bro, what's up? Bro. What that guy ever do to you, bro? Why? I eat him. Why do you clear? What are you doing, bro? Bro, you're not supposed to eat that. After letting them take over this now raided base, I returned home. But it was late, and I needed to get off for the night. In the morning, things would certainly take a turn. When I logged in the next day, I was greeted with the death screen. I had been offline raided. I spawned in an outdoor sleeping bag and went to survey the damage. Now I still had my goal of winning a fight versus a clan as well as the enemy I wanted to raid. I wandered around, pondering whether I wanted to even continue towards my objectives. I recycled a bit and crafted a bow and was running by the coastline at night when I saw some other players. got the flamers. Oh, now Doggy's gonna be mad at me. Ooh. You kid, I hit him. Hey, 
Hey, take it easy. Stop talking, pussy. Why do you have to be mad? With all they'd had, plus what I had gathered, I now actually had a substantial amount of loot. <sighs> I then also saw an airdrop coming down, right by my old base. More of just like a... Oh, sit your ass down, pal. Fatality. This was all flowing so easily right now. Even in my disheartened state, I knew that I couldn't give up. I was gonna see my goals to completion. So I rebuilt a small new home just up the hill from my old raided base. I feel like I can double down for yoinks right here. Ah. Can I get this angle? Yes. That was sus. That was so sus. Bruh. That encounter had been odd. Something about it was off. Maybe he could just see the peak of my head or something. That guy's a cheater. The one thing that could stop this roll was a cheater, and it looked like I'd found one, but I wasn't positive. Now knowing what I might be dealing with, I reported him for aimbot and then tried a couple times to get damning evidence, dying a lot in the process, but also finding where he lived. Yeah. And then I got the confirmation I was looking for. Oh, did you see that freaking jump, dude? That confirmed it. This guy was definitely a cheater, no clipping up that wall. I now had another quest to complete. This man freaking... Get this guy out of here, man. Gonna sit there. What? I can't hear you over that pee-pee in your mouth. But I didn't want to throw guns and gear away, so taunting him on the hill above his base was all I could do right now as I waited for him to get banned. I'm going to eat your chicken nuggets. See, when a cheater gets banned, all the entities that they placed get removed, so his base would crumble soon after he received his well-deserved ban. And the cheater had a little lackey who was teamed with him. Maybe I could pull something off here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's cheats, man. You see how he tried to pre-fire me there? I purchased more grenades and then lingered around the cheater's base, trying to get him to make a mistake. Hey, bitch! I am going to take your loot once you die and get the boot. Now out of grenades, I just ran away into the safety of bandit camp and logged out. I didn't want to play while a cheater was around. Now they usually get banned quickly, but today clearly something was not working behind the scenes. It was later when I logged back in. I spawned at home and ran downhill to check on where their base had been. It was gone. Their base had been entirely removed, but I hadn't been there for the spoils. I checked their profile as well. Bruh. And there was the ban. It looked like my goal of taking down the cheater and getting their loot might not come to fruition. So next, I went out and just did a little bit of farming. There was a geared player nearby just watching me. Unsure of the situation, I ran. Hidden in a crevice, I remained still. That had been so weird. Now already on edge, I checked this player's profile. Another suspicious one. Could it be possible? Another cheater immediately after logging in? Get this guy the- I then heard them shooting and ran back naked. I'll spare you love. I'll spare you love. Where's that gunshot come from? You don't tell him I'm gonna kill you. 
Take me to it now. I could hear it in their voices, that casual arrogance in their tone. They felt powerful, a sensation no doubt at odds with their likely miserable lives. I was almost positive that these were cheaters again, so I reported and then I followed them, but at a stealthy distance. Patience, don't do anything stupid. You cut off this way. Day turned to night and I roughly kept tabs on their location while trying to slow down their movements by engaging with them. There he goes. There was one ban, and moments later another. Now I wasn't sure exactly where they were, but I had a rough idea, and I knew that they would be loaded. Now while searching for their sleeping bodies, I made another discovery. Oh, well this guy got raided. I knew it was only a matter of time. The player I'd been planning to raid had been raided while I was away. This was long. This was the ruins of his base here. Ah, uh, man! Frustrated about another cheater getting away, I spent the night wandering near the area where I had last seen them, hoping that just maybe I could catch a break and find them. They were here sleeping after getting banned, and loaded with gear, just like I expected. Finally justice, man. It was morning by the time I got home, and I reflected on this redemption of sorts. I'd gotten a massive loot haul from some cheaters, and my raid target had already been raided. My objectives list was thinning, but my goal of winning a big fight versus a clan solo remained elusive. These rats were trying to store loot. That's disgusting. I next went back and got another load of loot from their still undiscovered bodies. Now I was relaxing in base a bit later as night was falling when I heard the distant chop of the attack helicopter's rotors. Not only that, but it was fighting someone. Under the cover of darkness, I went to go check it out. Soon after leaving base, I heard the helicopter crash in a great explosion. There would be crates on fire in the wreckage holding top tier loot. It was a long shot, but I was gonna try to counter it and take it for myself. There were many grouped players milling around the crash site. I knew that I had to get as close as possible in the dark before engaging. A number of clan members were dead here, but now I was taking sniper fire from range. Rockets and C4 from the helicopter. Moving quickly and loaded with gear, I hightailed it out of there just as dawn was breaking. I next returned home, reflecting that I had done it, taking on a clan solo and winning a fight against them head on. Now as I was thinking about how I'd accomplished this, I heard an airdrop coming over near my base, so I hopped right back out. As I approached the drop, I thought back to when I first joined the server. A humble naked charging an airdrop. Things were a bit different now. Oh. After killing the players there, I ran home. My adventures had all began at an airdrop, and now after this, it felt like a chapter closing. I was glad that I had come back to finish my goals. Now, I could rest. Thank you all for watching the video. Leave a like and comment if you enjoyed. Also, I'm live streaming right now on my Twitch, so come say hi. And if you want to stay up to date on all the happenings going on with my channel, go follow me on all my socials and my thumbnail artist too. This has been your friend Wellen, completing a fun, quest-filled adventure. I'll see you all again soon. Until next time.